Well, you won't want to eat a plain old PB&J after you see our cooking segment today. 1808 Grill at the Hutton Hotel is known for its stuffed sandwiches, brand new on the menu, and it's going to be a big rage. We're going to learn how to make one today from executive sous chef Jake Strang. He's here with one of the newest additions to their menu. You're changing things up this week, right? We are. This Thursday, we're doing a whole revamp, the lunch and dinner menu, and um, come in and check it out. We've got all these great new, exciting stuffed sandwiches going on. Yeah. Um, Tell me about the one that we're going to make today. Uh, this one is a Tarasco flat iron steak sandwich, a mm -hmm. uh, little Latin America flair there. Uh, it's got a flat iron steak, piquillo peppers, uh, Reggianito cheese. Yum. Uh, Sounds fantastic. Chimichurri. Yeah, it's great. And you make um, your own dough for each of do. these sandwiches. Tell me about that. Uh, our dough is really simple, uh, something you can make easily at home. Um, it's just like a bread dough. We take out the yeast. It's just flour, milk, and baking powder, mm -hmm. a little bit of salt. Uh, you let it rest for a half hour or so and then you're good to go. You just need to roll it out and uh, set it aside to stuff. Great. We've got one ready to go right there. We There's do. a chimichurri sauce that goes on this that sounds really yummy. Yeah, chimichurri, it's a, it's a condiment that's used a lot on grilled meats and stuff. Uh, it's great pretty much on anything. So we're going to go ahead and assemble that now. Okay. Um, so we just have a little minced onion right there. Some minced garlic. Nice. And this, if you don't care to chop with your knife, you can always throw in the RoboCoop or even a blender, um, and you're going to end up with pretty much the same uh, product. So we got parsley, a little chopped oregano, some lemon juice, or you can use lime juice, whichever you prefer, some red wine vinegar. This is going to be such a fresh flavor, isn't it? It is, yes. Yeah, and, uh, that looks great. The other thing is it's really versatile if you want to change up if you have favorite herbs like cilantro or mm -hmm. you know if you want to spice it up a little crushed red pepper or some tabasco nice um, and that's pretty much it it's that simple a pinch uh, of salt yeah pinch of salt does this need to sit stuff. and let the flavors kind of blend for a little while yeah honestly if you let it go overnight it just gets better with age it can be used right away or you know let it sit for a couple days all the flavors kind of meld together that looks great all right so we're ready to stuff our sandwich we are so once you get this rolled out you want about a quarter inch to an eighth of an inch a um, little bit of flour so you don't stick. And we're going to add just a little bit of the chimichurri to the beef. And that's a to flat iron steak. You it slice is. it pretty thin. Yeah, flat iron steak. We pre-seared it. Um, it's seasoned with chili and a little bit of lime. Yeah. Um, and you can cook this to any temperature if you like a little bit more rare than rare it is. Uh, if you prefer well done, the flat iron steak will hold up quite well to the, the higher temperatures. And those are piquillo peppers, kind of like a red pepper? Yep. Uh, pretty much the same thing. They got the sweet. They're not spicy at all. Okay. Um, and you can buy, if you're making at home, uh, roasted red peppers already done in a can. Yeah. It's easy. It's an um, interesting kind of cheese. Tell me about that. Red Ginito is uh, made in Argentina. It's actually the Italian immigrants came over to Argentina and wanted to make something in the style of Parmesan. Ah, uh, okay. So they started making this. And it's a little bit uh, less expensive than the Parmesan, but still get the same great flavor. Nice. Okay. okay once so after you have that? It, once you have it stuffed, uh, it's really easy. It's just like, almost like rolling a burrito. Just roll in the sides and then tuck in the ends. Give it a little pinch. And you don't have to worry too much about sealing it too hard because you're going to sear it off. Okay. So you got your pan already yep. over here. Give it a little pat um, and just a touch of oil in the bottom. How long do you cook? Take it, give it about a minute or so. Um, you don't want it on too high because you don't want it to burn because we're going to finish it in the oven. So oh, okay. get it to about golden brown on that mm -hmm. side. We'll flip it over and then just pop it in the oven 400 degrees for about seven or eight minutes. Nice. Good and that's go. what it looks like when it's done. It looks absolutely delicious. Yeah, You're serving it with those wonderful homemade chips too. Yeah, we'll give you the option. You can have uh, our famous garlic parsley fries. People are loving those. Mm -hmm. um, and then we added the, the salt and malt chips. Uh, which are great. We make those there. Nice. Uh, you got bit. some other great stuffed sandwiches too. I love this one. This looks really delicious. It's a chicken. Yeah, that's our barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. That's actually my favorite. Um, mm -hmm. Candied jalapenos, uh, fresh Ashley Farms chickens we roast off and pull Yum. barbecue sauce. We've got the Cuban here. We also have a vegetarian. You've got so many great things. Of course, everybody still loves your burgers and those of and the course. crab cakes are still on the lunch menu. Yep. Great dinner menu too over at the Hutton Hotel at 1808 Grill. Thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thanks for having me. You want to go check this out, I'm sure. Uh, it's recipe number 4760. You can check out Jake's new menu at the 1808 Grill at the Hutton Hotel. Complimentary parking too, by the way. So you'll want to check it out.